Hi everybody, so it's Monday evening, welcome back to the Seesaw and another week of meals. Um, starting the week with some minute steaks with um, these just little package of prawns that I had that I've just cooked in a little bit of butter that I seasoned with some Cajun seasoning. So um, Cajun style little prawns on top. I've got a baked sweet potato with mine and I've got some mushrooms and onions on the side. Nothing green on the plate but you know what, it's Monday. Um, just didn't particularly want anything green with this meal. I'll make up for it the rest of the week. And then this is Caleb's. He's got the other steak. Um, he's got some of the prawns and he's got green. He's got some cucumbers and he doesn't like sweet potatoes. So he's got a regular baked potato on his plate. But that is our Monday night dinner. Tony's having pork steaks as he doesn't eat the beef. And he's got sweet potatoes, mushrooms and onions as well. So that is our start of the week, a steak and Cajun shrimp supper. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday evening and tonight we've got a Cajun chicken pasta, really quick, really simple, cooked up a pot of pasta and then in a skillet I cooked some diced chicken breast, um, once I'd got that going I added in some chopped onion but I've chopped that quite finely so you can't see that there's some right there and then some sliced mushrooms and a sliced red pepper, I let that all come together then added a good sprinkle of paprika and some Cajun seasoning, just a kind of to our taste. So you can put as much or as little of that as you want in. Let that all cook together. Um, and then when the pasta was just about ready, I added in to the, the dish with the chicken and the vegetables, into the skillet with the chicken and vegetables, a couple of good tablespoons of quark, which is the kind of flavor free, fat free um, kind of soft cheese. Um, Added in some of that, I added about 150 mils of chicken broth just to give it a sauciness. And then I added in five cheese triangles. And if you don't know what cheese triangles are, it's um, this sort of cheese, kiddie cheese. <laughs> um, so this is the Aldi own brand. There's also the Laughing Cow, which is, I had two of these left and I used three of the Laughing Cow ones. There's also the Dairy Lee. So I've used the lighter ones. So five of those. And it gives it a really nice cheesy creamy flavour, that and the cork and the chicken broth. Mix that all together once it had melted down, once the triangles had kind of dissolved away and it was come together as a sauce, I just stirred it through the pasta and dinner was ready. And we've got that with some cheesy garlic pizza bread, a um, little bit of spice, a little bit of kick, um, but not too, not too much. And you can change this up to suit your family's um, heat tolerance, I guess. So Caleb is eating as well, but I've just made sure I've given him a scoop where I can't see any mushroom or red pepper. I'm sure he'll find some, but mostly the chicken with the cheesy sauce, the Cajun seasoning and the pasta, and then some of the little garlic bread um, fingers on the back there. So that is our Tuesday night Cajun pasta supper. Hi everybody, Wednesday night, Caleb's gone back to football training again tonight, so it seems like we're back and forth with sports, but for now, he's back to football training on a Wednesday. We've got Mayflower chicken curry now. I was going to make a chicken gel frazzy tonight. I'd ordered some um, meal kits, um, some seasoning kits from Spice and Tice. Unfortunately, they didn't arrive in time for me to have them tonight. So um, I had Mayflower in the kit in the cupboard, and so we just made Mayflower curry. It's our favourite anyway. Um, so I've got chicken, mushroom, onion, green pepper and peas with the Mayflower curry sauce, some just plain white rice and some of the mini naan breads. So that is our Wednesday night supper. Hi everybody, so it is Friday night and as it was snowing this morning, strangely quite heavy snow which is quite unusual at this time of the year for the area that we live in, um, we've gone Caribbean for dinner, <laughs> so I've got jerk chicken, so this is just some chicken thigh fillets that I just marinated in a bit of um, vegetable oil and jerk seasoning and then cooked them in the oven 200 degrees for about 20 minutes just to get them nicely cooked through and then I've just chopped them um, up. The corn is just a can of sweet corn that I've popped into a skillet with just a splash of olive oil and then some ground black pepper and some a couple of grinds of that. We've got a chipotle, um, smoky chipotle and garlic grinder. Um, and I've just ground some of that into it as well. So just to toast it kind of through. 
And then the rice and beans is, um, or rice and peas as they call it in the Caribbean, although the peas are usually a bean rather than a pea. Um, but I've gone quite quick and simple with that. So I put 100 mils of water in a saucepan, just heated it through, and then I put a stock pot, a chicken stock pot into that, stirred that through just to dissolve the stock pot. So it's only a tiny bit of water. Then I added a can of coconut milk. I used the light because I was using it in... Um, this kind of cooking, if you're using it in baking, you need to use the full fat if that's what the recipe calls for. But for something like this, you can use the light. Um, and about 250 grams of basmati rice and a can of kidney beans. Um, brought that up to a boil, covered the pan, let it cook for 15 minutes and stirred it all together. So quite quick and simple, probably about half an hour for this meal to be on the table. Um, jerk chicken, rice and peas and sweet corn. Hi everybody, so it's Saturday evening and tonight we've got spicy pork chicken. So um, you know how you would marinate chicken in a yogurt and spice mixture to make a kind of Indian season like a tikka or tandoori style chicken? Um, this is th that sort of same concept, but I've used quark instead of yogurt. So I used about 250 grams of quark, and then I mixed into it um, a tablespoon each of paprika, chili powder, Dijon mustard, and I used honey Dijon so that it had a bit of a sweetness to it as well, and hot sauce. So I used Tabasco, but you could use Sriracha, you could use Franks, you could use less of the hot sauce if that's not something your family can cope with very well. Um, and then I added the juice of a lemon and some salt and pepper. Mix that through with some um, diced up chicken breast and just let that sit. It's probably a couple of hours it sat in the fridge. Then I took um, a green pepper, chopped uh, two red onions, just chopped into um, wedges and probably four or five tomatoes, which I quartered. And I just seared them um, in the skillet in a little bit of vegetable oil for about five minutes, just until the onions I went in first, then added the peppers and added tomatoes towards the end. I took those out of the pan and to the pan I added the marinated chicken. I let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, then added the vegetables back in and just let it all come together while I heated through some Mexican rice. So this is the microwave pouches of Mexican rice. And then we're also having it with some tortillas on the side so the boys may choose to wrap those up and make them into like burritos um but it's just a different take so this i figured out for this part of the meal the chicken part it's about 300 calories um per serving if you're following slimming world this would be free because quark is free all the seasonings and spices are free You've got chicken, peppers, tomatoes and onions, which are, the chicken is your protein and free and the vegetables are all speed. So then you would only have to account for your rice. And if you cooked rice from scratch, that would be free. And then you could use a like a Weight Watchers tortilla wrap, um, something like that for your healthy extra beef. So you could make this a completely sin free meal if you were following Slimming World. So just something a little bit different. It is quite spicy, but that's how we like our food. Um, and I'm actual, actually also going to sprinkle a little bit of grated cheese. I haven't had any dairy at all today. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of grated cheese over the top of mine. Um, but yeah, off to enjoy this on a Saturday night. Hi everybody, so it's Sunday evening and tonight we've got gammon for dinner. So I always cook these gammons the same way. These are the gammon joints from Audi. I get the large one, which I think is about 750 grams, something like that. Um... I boil it, I put it in a big saucepan, cover it with water, bring it up to a boil, drain the water out, cover it with more water, bring it back up to a boil, <clears throat> then simmer it with the lid on for about an hour. Then I take it out of the water, put it into a roasting pan, and then glaze it. And I use all different sorts of things for glazing. Sometimes I use a honey glaze, sometimes a balsamic, sometimes some maple syrup. Today I made a simple mixture with some brown sugar, um, a little bit of mustard powder, some apple juice, and a little splash of Worcestershire sauce. And then I mixed that with a little bit of melted butter and just brushed it all over the gammon. You can see it's gone nice and glazed on the side. And pop that then in the oven for about half an hour. So I have the, the cooking time is about an hour and a half. So I do an hour in the pot boiling and then half an hour in the oven. 
and we've got that with some creamy mashed potatoes and some steamed vegetables and a little bit of gravy so that is mine that is Caleb's and we're all ready to go for Sunday dinner so thank you for joining us for this week of meals and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon